Hey, I'm here at KnobCon with Michael from Ashton Research. Hello. What, what you got going today? Well, uh, what we're doing here is we're uh, kind of repurposing Ethernet cable. So uh, Ethernet cable has eight wires. So some, uh, some clever folks in the industry noticed that you can uh, get four audio signals with those eight wires, four balanced audio signals. So in order to uh, help people take advantage of this fact, We've made some. Uh, we've made some little boxes, <coughs> and uh, these uh, these have quarter inch on kind of one end, RJ45 on the other. You get these four signals. We put them onto the cable. They can travel down the cable, and then to the other side. And uh, over here, you have the mixer. And um, so let's see. Should I turn up the? I'm not sure how we should do the audio here, but. Um, uh, basically, these are four independent analog channels over one Ethernet cable. So instead of getting, uh, you can you can now finally get rid of your DB25 snake or your Hosa Hosa cables, um, and uh, and and use this instead. So these are these cables are available at electronic stores. I got this at like Micro Center. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. So if you're touring or you're running out of cable or something these are these are much easier to get than the uh, the audio db25 and and even the hosa snake so so um, we got a little audio coming in i some craft work you're playing like what's the audio chain what if we how's it how's it all set up so the audio is starting uh so i'm playing it out of my laptop sound card these are balanced hosa again thank you hosa we love hosa um and uh these go into the adapter box Again, traveling down the RJ45, I think this is 25 feet. You can go further if you've got good stuff on either end. And then uh, this comes out of the adapter. And in the mixer here, we're mixing and then um, and then into the video. So uh, should we change the balance here? Sure. So we can also pull in some Debussy. This is very quiet. But uh, the Debussy is traveling along the cable right next to the Kraftwerk, and there is uh, no bleed through. So that's the beauty of this, this cable that's fully shielded, twisted pair. Crosstalk is, is difficult to measure, and I have tried. So. <laughs> Great. So these are available now? Uh, so these are shipping in a few weeks. We're, we're ramping up production as we speak. Uh, and we'll have the website open for orders uh, very soon. Well, you've got a couple different different modules here. I think you said one was a patch bay or... An, or yeah, so we have three modules to start with. Um, this is an adapter with kind of a right angle form factor. So jacks on the top, RJ45 is around the side. These are great for the back of a rack. Um, these are straight through, so these are nice for just putting on the table and plugging into the top. That's what we've got over here. These are uh, just adapters, so they do the same thing, just in a different Just different factor. configuration. Now this one, the TP3H, this is a patch bay, and uh, it's harder to see from both sides, but around the back you can see that we've got uh, two RJ45s and quarter inch. So people that are familiar with patch bays, um, you know, typically you'll have quarter inch on both sides. One of these will go to the front, and then they're kind of connected front to back, and then you have normaling around the front. So with this one, we've, we've got the quarter inch, which goes to here, and then these quarter inches go to an RJ45 instead of quarter inch. So the idea is that you would either be bringing this to some other place in the studio, maybe you'd be coming in or going out, and then uh, you can connect this to your local gear. Maybe that's keyboards or the mixing console or, or something like that. Um, this RJ45 is hardwired to these jacks. So you can actually use this as, as an adapter as well. Um, then the, uh, the mounting system, all of these modules kind of mount to this tray. So we have a standardized mount and um, you can line up six of these if you want and do, t do 24 points. So that's uh, that's our initial initial offering. That's great. And uh, if people want to know more, where do they get information? Head over to the website ashton-research.com. All right. Do you have pricing on these yet? Um, pricing is to be determined. All right. So.
Awesome. We, yeah, so head, head to the website. They'll be available for ordering very soon. Thank you. Thank you.